Hi everybody, Zach Zwax, and welcome back to another episode of Reaction of Your Lie in April. Today we are continuing on with episode 9, and last time we had these two rivals appear on the scene, the piano competition began, and Kosei was just kind of astounded, and everyone else in the crowd was just really impressed to see these two play. In the backstories that we've been learning about them, we learned that they are basically both rivals to Kosei. They're always in like second and third place against him in a competition, so they're really kind of bitter about everything, and they really feel like Kosei just does not give them the time of the day when they kind of reconnected with him he didn't even know who they were so like they just got really upset over all that like he's just so pompous and so good and we know from his backstory so far guys that Kosei is not like that at all he is just dealing so much more with his mother and his mother's death and all that kind of stuff so like he never really took the time to get to know his competition because he was so focused on just that and just appeasing his mother and helping his mother heal which obviously never happened so he isn't coming off like this pompous arrogant I'm better than you type of character but these two think that Kosei is like that. So I said this last time that they all just kind of need to sit in a room and talk it out and learn about each other and I feel like they'll all be really good friends. It was indicated through the girl's story a little bit that she kind of has feelings for Kosei so I'm not sure how deep they're going to go with all that but uh, and again guys I'm forgetting their names at the moment so I'm so sorry I'm going to try and learn them this episode but I'm so excited to continue and uh, now it's Kosei's turn to go up and perform will he be able to hear his own music will he be able to show the colors like the girl it like I don't know I'm very eager to find out so let's see how he does as we continue on thank you so much for joining me as always it means a lot that you're here if you haven't already please like this video please subscribe to the channel for more reactions coming soon and we do have a patreon as well we can help support this channel so feel free to check it out the link is in the description below thank you to those of you that have already done so and on patreon you can view this episode reaction for just a dollar a month it's unedited and unfiltered it means a lot if you consider so please do if you can and without further ado here we go with episode nine of your lie in April let's go Oh, there's the color. <laughs> yeah, so I feel like this show, guys, you know, it's not the first time, obviously, either that they're doing this, but they're really, like, showcasing color and transforming the background around you, like, because, and that's just to symbolize, like, becoming fully immersed in the music. And that's what happened to her at this age, at this concert, so... And I said this last time, so Kosei was already playing in performances, you know, having this talent, having this time to master his craft. And she now at age five or something like that has now decided to become a pianist too and has worked so hard in a shorter amount of time to get to where he is at. They are playing in the same places. They are doing the same competitions. It says a lot to her character. She's doing it now. Very impressive. My goodness. Well, I do got to say really quick, guys. This is our final time uh, with this opening. Next video I do is going to have the second opening of the show, the second half. It's hard to believe we're going to be halfway done with the whole show by the time this video is over. Um, really love this opening it's really super catchy i love it it's great and i'm going to be really sad to see it go i gotta say that much uh but yeah regarding this competition guys like we saw it right there we saw her you know you know not have any kind of 
revenge on her mind, but she just, at her core, just really wants to play like him. And she's doing that now. And I feel like now this competition is going to be the defining moment for Kosei. Like, will he be able to get past his blocks, and mental blocks, you know, and all that kind of stuff? Uh, will he be able to get through all that and play the way he is always meant to play? Or will he not get first place? Will he kind of lose this competition and that's going to cause even more damage i think mentally for him if he doesn't get first um not that he ever cares about placement but i think you know his mother does and he's gonna want to play for her and all that kind of stuff is gonna be brought into it um but yeah like both these characters his competition like they have interesting stories and reasons for why like and they just want to prove to themselves uh more than anybody else that they can do it and I feel like she just did it. Like, she she got it done. They're both seeing it right now. His heart. You could also argue, like, she's playing to beat Kosei. He's playing to beat Kosei. Like... He's not going to play to beat them. He's going to play for himself. He's going to play for other reasons, not just to be better than somebody else. That might put him above everybody else because he's not playing for other personal you know, reasons like that. He's just kind of playing it to play. I think that's what he needs to discover. Could they be his inspiration? Like, not just Kauri and his other friends, like, but these two other newer characters? Like, could they be the ones to get him past, you know, the wall that he's trying to get through? Very possible. I don't know. See, he feels like everything's riding on this moment, and she's just like, let's just get him in the door. Let's just get his feet wet a little bit. No, it's going to be a process. So she's not expecting perfection here. And maybe so this won't happen. I don't know. I'm very eager to see how well he's going to play here. Look at those bruises. Kosei loves his mother, of course, wants to please her and do what she is asking, but, like, they've hinted at it, they've kind of alluded to it, I think we're seeing it now, that she's kind of really being abusive to him, you know, punishing him if he doesn't get it right, hurting him if he gets something wrong, like, you know, we know that she is all about the medal, you know, being first place, the recognition, the glory, you know, all that kind of stuff. He never was. He just wants to get her better.
Yeah, she's not a good person. And that's what he gets judged on. That's how he gets first. But Kauri wants him to play with more passion and more feelings and make it his own. Oh, my God. I was going to say, like, is he blaming himself for his mother getting sick and yes he is Yep, I was going to say, and then she does. Wow. Yeah, like, this is, like, nobody thought to give him a therapist to talk to or something like that. Like, this is very traumatic. Very traumatic. Well, that's why I was blank. Okay, that's interesting. Here we go. Oh my gosh, man. Like, I'm really, like, as sad as it is, I'm really liking how the show is visually showing you that he can't hear his own music. Um, it's very really interesting. And it's definitely the big hurdle that he has to get over to, you know, get back on track to where he needs to go. Uh, so we learned a lot about his mother. We learned a lot about his childhood and very tragic, very sad, very horrible. Um, not surprised at any of it. And will it, you know, will he be able to get through that? You know, not just the feeling of not hearing your notes, but just the traumatic 
feelings of trying to please your mother who can never be pleased. You know, like, that's just horrible. Uh, we're going to go right to the next one and see how he does now moving forward in the actual competition. So here we go. I like that even his competition is like, you know, him stopping would guarantee their victory, but like they don't even want him to stop. They know he's better than this. Like, it says a lot to. Hey, have her be the light. Come on. See the color. Let's do it. man I don't think I was expecting him to stop fully like I was really thinking that he was going to struggle and then push through it and like find his oh my it's all over oh my god not the outcome I was expecting at all gonna pretend she's playing with him <laughs> I don't know <laughs> okay she will be his muse let's go Because it was. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter though. He doesn't care.
she's seeing his whole memory now. Like, that's crazy. It did reach her. Look at that. Wow, <laughs> that was uh, enthralling a little bit, like just totally captivating. And everybody knows it. They're speechless. See that nice big smile, yep, full of tears. Look at that, so happy, so proud. Aw. I feel bad for Tsubaki, too. Wow, okay. The scene you share. That was a good title for this episode. Man, like, crazy stuff. Uh, we're going to see what happens in the next one. We're going to do one more today and uh, jump right into it. So here we go. Sounds like that guy needs to do some soul searching. Grumpy guy. Alright, so yeah, this is the girl teased at the, uh... <laughs> teased at the end credits, so I'm assuming this is going to be an important character to him, like... In his young life, probably somebody that... helped him along or something. I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> like, did she know how his mother treated him? Okay, well, what happened then? Because now she was all about it. As a baby, she did not want him to become a piece? I don't know. He just had this natural talent, I guess. Okay.
Like if she recognized it, did Kauri recognize it? I feel like she did. But she's not gonna say nothing. See, he never saw this side of people. He just always got first and never really thought twice about it because he was so focused on his mother. Keep seeing a shirt, I want them to be like, throw a comma up there, like, no, comma, life is enough. You know, like. He's off! Okay. <laughs> she loves it. Okay. A girl. Well, they're already off now to another competition. Well, it's not a competition, I guess, but a chance to play. Just more experience, more, more of that. Just playing together and 
and the mission is on to w become in sync, I think, with each other. All right. Like, I want to know, like, does, does she know how his mother treated him? Like, we have this new mother figure now in his life. How's she going to treat him? How's she going to act about everything? Like, I feel like she's going to be a lot more cooler about it all, but you never know. You never know. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> You. <laughs> Thoughts of you. Tell her. Tell her right now. Come on. The mood is set. These fireflies are super beautiful. There's something about fireflies all over. Alright. That works. I'll take it. How's she going to respond though? Is she okay? Like, they're really, like, really subtly showing things. And I'm afraid to address it, guys, but, like, is she not okay? Is she, like, like, she was, like, stumbling at one point. She had her head down for that extended period of time before he started playing. Um, she said she wanted to shower and then just collapsed on her bed. Like, it, you know, where she's, like, just exhausted. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I hope she's okay. Um, and yeah, what she just said there, like that, that bothers me. I'm like, why? Why are you thinking like you're not gonna be around? Like you gotta stop that. Um, I can't handle that. I'm not gonna be ready if anything happens. Like, I don't. I, I got. We're gonna move on. We're okay. We're gonna talk about uh, Kose. You know, and I'm like I said, guys. I'm very eager and curious to know. Like this mother figure, um, is she? going to treat him well like is she going to be supportive or is she going to lean the way the mother leaned like I I'm worried about that I'm really worried 
So Twinkle Little Star is our next episode title. We're going to have to wait and see what happens next. But we have a new opening next time, guys. Much more to look forward to. We are now halfway done with the show. It's very exciting. Uh, this is a shorter show than most. So, like, uh, you know, this is my first time really reacting to a short show. Um, so I'm curious to know the second half of the show, what that's going to be like. What, you know, what are we in for? Obviously, we have another performance on the way. And uh, I feel like that'll happen in the next episode or two. Um, and how well are they going to play together? I feel like they're going to play so well. They're going to become in sync and like be really recognized as this like unit, this, you know, two member unit. And then when, you know, what happens next after the show, like what, you know, will they carry on to another competition and join something together? I don't know. It's possible. I'm very eager and excited to find out guys. Hopefully you are too. I'd like to thank you all again so much for joining me. It means a lot. Please drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode and this reaction. I do love to chat with you guys about it and we'll be back next time for more. Thanks again for watching. Have a great one and we'll see you next time.